Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 35. You know, I really believe scanner radios should have blinking LED lights. I really miss that in a radio. You know, these modern radios uh, with their LCD displays, I kind of miss something. I like the little blinking lights that go across uh, as it's scanning each of the channels. I have one radio I've had for quite some time, which is the da, 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 Radio Shack Realistic Pro 2001. Now, I got this used, this particular radio, and in the manual, the previous owner has put in here that he purchased this radio October 24th, 1978. Kind of gives you an idea of how old this radio is. It's, um, it's only 16 channels. It's only good for, let's see, 30 to 50 megahertz, 144 to 148, 148 to 174, 430 to 450, 450 to 470, and 470 to 512 megahertz. That's all it's good for. So, um, you know, for, for monitoring, um, trunking, and, you know, frequencies up in the 800 megahertz band, 900 megahertz, it's not of any value. Plus, it's not a real sensitive radio. Um, Let's see what it says here. Sensitivity is 0.5 microvolts. And the selectivity is uh, plus or minus 9 kilohertz and plus or minus 17 kilohertz at minus 50 dB. So, you know, it's not a super radio as far as listening. It was super at the time. I looked at one of my old Radio Shack catalogs, and this thing sold for $350, $349 to be exact. Um, but, and it is programmable, so it's not a crystal control, so it's not that old. But what I like about it, and I wish somebody would come out with a newer radio that had blinking lights. As you can see, this row of LEDs across here are one for each channel. And as it scanned, each light would light up and then go back off. And then, when it, of course, when it would stop on a particular channel, the LED would stay lit. I have a, a quick video I, I made uh, with my uh, cell phone, so it's not that high a quality, that shows you mine in operation. But I really think... And I really liked the old idea of having the little blinking lights that went across as it scanned. And, of course, uh, it didn't scan very fast, but it's, to me that's usually not a problem. And presently I only use it to scan the um, uh, two-meter HF band, I mean two-meter band for ham radio and um, the AM band for aircraft. That's all I use it for. It did have, what was the other thing that was unique about this particular radio is that it had two antenna connections and came with two antennas, one for UHF and one for VHF. And let's see here. It said that the scanning rate was 10 channels per second. So that shows you how slow it was. So um, as I said before, I'm going to show you a quick video that I did of that radio. And um, I will end at the end of that, that video. And thanks for watching.